compost in place where I normally take compost and I put it in the things and you know you turn it and you turn it again and you take all the the compost out of it as it goes and so on what I'm doing is you know since I've been gone we've just been putting the compost in one of these and then you pick it up and everything falls out of the bottom because there's no bottom to it and you want to make sure you don't put anything in there that you don't want spread all over the garden like you know crab grass or anything like that so so what I've been doing is uh, today today I just took the compost straight out of the kitchen where we keep it for you know a day or so and then bring it out and instead of putting it into the compost I put it directly into the container that I'm gonna use so let's see how this works now what I'm doing is I'm putting like I got these buckets and I put a brick in them or something like that you could use water bottles or something of the sort that takes up some space because you obviously don't need all that much space and, and the roots will grow into the anyway. So then I've got some branches. This is lavender that I've got uh, uh, Mexican sage I have in the house that I, uh, the front yard that I just broke up and there was crabgrass in there. So I took out all the crabgrass. So hopefully we won't have any crabgrass in here, but because I'm isolating it to the, just these containers, if I do get crabgrass, I should be okay. So what I've done is I put bricks and then I put some dry stuff. You could use newspaper, shredded newspaper, um, shredded, you know, receipts or anything like that in there. And then I'm just putting compost on top. Isn't this disgusting? I know, but it's going to become the most amazing stuff. The block you see on top is tea and coffee grounds, which work real well. And uh, maybe napkins, paper napkins, eggshells. I can see uh, um, tomatoes, I see grapefruit, carrot things, and um, cantaloupe, toast, edges of your toast that you don't want, um, greens from all sorts of stuff. You just take them and you put them into the compost area. Here's another one I'm going to do. And then, see my bees are doing so well. And then what this will do is it'll all break down, and I'm going to put some yard uh, some actual dirt that I bought I've got some miracle grow because I I I make my own normally but I can't make it fast enough so I mean we just don't eat that much of um, stuff as well as we don't have um, I'm not putting a lot of yard scraps in there because there's dandelions and things on my front yard and I don't want to put that in there so we don't have enough to put in there right at the moment I mean, we're talking, I've, I've been doing a lot of gardening, so we're going through it pretty quick. If people want to bring me their kitchen scraps and their uh, scraps from, uh, you know, coffee grounds and stuff like that, I'm happy to take them from you. I don't know how you'd get them here, but, oh, here comes Imogen. She wants to say hello. Hi, Imogen. And there's Ariadne. I kicked her out of the house because she just was hanging in the kitchen too much. Hello, Imogen. You're feeling so much better now. I know. Good girl. She had the cold. And Ariadne. So I'm going to put some of this, this ground cover on it. Now, I don't have to buy the most expensive soil. You could buy whatever you want. You could get just topsoil. That should be enough because what with all the nutrients you're putting in there with the compost, the garden scraps, that should be plenty. But this was actually on sale, so I bought some. So I don't even know if I have enough. I might have to go get another bag or two. But um, you can see my garden so far. We've got beets and, and radishes and carrots and stuff growing in here. And the cats have been sleeping, actually, underneath the little cages I have in here, which is to keep them from going boo, boo in there. And they're just laying down and sleeping. So that's fine, except that it composts all the stuff down and I can't quite get get there. Um, tomatoes are still looking good. These are tomatoes from last year. I, all I did was thin them out a little bit. You can see there's some growing in there. And look, see, they're still producing. And I have a few things here to plant that were left over. We've been keeping them watered and I'm gonna plant those in there. And then I also need to start some tomatoes. I have some seed tomatoes I wanna start. Boy, they're all excited. The cats are just like so excited to be on Facebook Live. Huh, Imogen? She says, hey, look, you're on Facebook Live. Look at me. Huh, say hello. So they're just all like, thrilled. Um, and that's, that's all that's going on. I just want to give an update. It also gives an update to myself. I can go back and get these videos and I can see how my garden changes over time. 
And that's what's happening at the moment. I'm going to fill these up with some more compost and soil, and then I'm going to plant some stuff in here. This is all going to be peas and beans all growing against the fence. So you guys have a great day. Have fun. Stay outside if you can.